Good evening, Bia France, and uh, good evening, our Bia France in Nordics. Uh, and thank you all for coming this evening on this uh, fateful Easter Sunday for those of you that, uh, that celebrate Easter. Uh, we are very, very happy that we are gathered here once again to show support for this celebration, to show, uh, to, uh, to, to, to show support for this government. Uh, I am very, very pleased as we progressed day by day, week by week, month by month, we are getting stronger. The enemies are crying and they will continue to cry to the declaration of the restoration of Biafra. I want to urge everybody to stay strong, keep on doing what you are doing. We are not going to go back. Don't listen to those who are there to distract you. Destruction is not what we need. People have the right to speak and they can continue to speak as long as they want to. Those who are serious will keep on moving and we are already in our destination. We just need to finish the work and believe me, you, uh, we have achieved a lot up to this point. Without taking much of the time, uh, we as the European uh, countries, uh, we are also supporting the Nordic countries with uh, a thousand euros. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, here uh, now, we will continue with uh, as many as wants to welcome our Prime Minister um, into this uh, very program today. As many as anybody, and then I hand over the mic back to Back to Van Van Van, I think. Okay, thank you. Um, please, what's going to be happening now, everyone will be raising their hands. And then remember that this is going to be questions and answers, those of you in the public and in these countries. Remember that the PM is here to attend to every one of your concerns, every of your concerns. And um, also, uh, beyond the, the support that you are going to be giving as a support for the EOG, you can come with any question that bothers you, as you can always uh, be assured that the PM will be here to answer all your questions. So I'm going to be taking the hands and up. Remember to raise your hands up, and I am going to call him up to ask the PM any question and uh, to support what is going on right now. All right, uh, Christopher, okay. Christopher Okemwa, please unmute yourself, Christopher. Yeah, thank you so much. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Chris. Yeah, Your Excellency, one that wants to say once again, welcome to Nordics and from here, welcome to Norway and your cabinet members, your entourage, and every one of us. Now, my name is Christopher Okenwa and I'm the Deputy Representative for Norway. Uh, Your Excellency, Masli Ekwasai Manijoku, you live in Finland. You know, so you're, you know, one of us here. So we're actually lucky. <laughs> so for some of us here, we feel like um, it's easy for us to, it's faster for us to take those words from your heart, just the way you take it from us in Ambukano's heart. I always give an example, you know, of the triad of, you know, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. You know, if the people in what you call Nigeria today actually care, if they mean well for the people, they would borrow a leaf from these nations. You know, they decided to go individually. If you go to Sweden, for example, you would hardly tell the difference of Sweden and Norway, you know, to, you know, just to cut it short. But they understand that they are not one people. They understand that they are different people. So as same human beings, they decided, okay, you have your nation, you take care of your people. I have my nation, I take care of my people. And we can still do business together. We are not enemies, we do not have to fight. A call for self-determination, a call for freedom, a call in our own case for self-preservation is not a call for war. It is actually a call for peace. So we are doing the right thing and I want to urge every one of us to keep up the good work. Mazin Simonepa, I'm, I'm not going to say too much. We know you. We trust you. 
we trust this government because we trust this government because we trust ourselves and this government is for us it is a government of the people that said i want to welcome you and support with the whole og with 100 ejema because i've been hearing people talk about dollars 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 one ejema is equals to one dollar so why are we so why are we mentioning these foreign currencies i am supporting you with 100 ejema your excellency thank you so much welcome they were there were that's a that's a good one it's a beautiful spirit there thank you so much watching thank you all right we move and uh, i'm going to ask everyone if you want to put on your camera go ahead and do that now in the next uh, 30 seconds on your camera right now please everywhere put on your camera right now please put on your camera put on your camera put on your camera on your uh -huh. camera, please, so that you will be able to see the Odogu himself uh, yeah, while you are asking well. a question. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm sure you have done that. Thank you. All right. Yes, yes, All right. Now well, let's begin to please mute yourselves. Yes. Just mute yourself. Yes. When it's time to get you in, I'm going to unmute your mic for you. Thank you. All right. We are going to bring you Mazi uh, Mado. Please uh, come on stage. And uh, we attended to immediately. Now open your mic. There you go. Greetings to you of Biafra. Uh, my, my own is, I, I'm not going to waste time. I just want to support the call and not with the 100, uh, 1,000 Swedish crowns. Yeah. Um, I just I also thank you guys for what you are doing. And, and um, all, all the media warriors we are seeing your blog and all that so um I, I don't i don't really have much to say no questions just that thank you thank all. you thank you very much uh, Mazi Mado. Oh, okay. well, thank you so much yeah. we appreciate yeah. you there will all right we move uh, right now grab the microphone uh danny Danny Noge, Danny Noge, unmute yourself. Sorry, Danny Noge, unmute yourself, please. Unmute, okay. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Good evening, everyone. We can hear you. Okay, um, I want to uh, use this opportunity to say a big welcome to our Honorable Prime Minister. Uh, Mazis, Ekba, Simon, and Joko, we are very proud of you, and we are lucky actually to have you. So welcome to Norway. Having said this, I would like to just go straight to the point, and I want to. I realize our prime minister likes usoji, especially that one that if your canal is tired, you will be. Is it that good? Yes, yes, yes. So having said that, I want to use 200 US dollars to ask Prime Minister to continue eating that research. That one that, <laughs> that one that they tie Euro Canal Burugi. So, and again, I also want to say, Prime Minister, So thank, thank you, everyone. You. That's it for me. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. I was, you, I was uh, as I saw your name, I was uh, putting my armor to to deal with you decisively. But uh, you happen to be one of us. So <laughs> this your name is confusing. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. All right, we move. Uh, please, Collins, Imo, can you please unmute yourself? Collins, Imo, can you please unmute yourself? 
Colin seems not to be ready. Okay, are you there? I'm ready. Go ahead. Can you please hear me? I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay, it's like my video cannot be muted, but I'm yeah, happy I, to. I actually gave I actually gave everyone the chance to open their video. I do go ahead and do that again now, please. Everyone should open their video now, please. Open your video, everyone. The issue is that my video cannot work because there's like there's no light here because depending where yeah. the location I'm in here now, in I'm in uh, Biafra in Nigeria, which is in Biafra State. Please go ahead. Please. So go ahead and yes, uh -huh. I, I first of all, I thank my able prime minister, which is uh, Biaf, uh, uh, Simon Peter Simon Epa, for his uh, great work he's doing. At least I thank him for what he's doing. Without him, I don't think uh, Biafra have been reached to this extent of. In at least Biafra have been in many newspapers because of his work he's doing. So I thank him for that. And I thank other people who, that are doing whatever they are doing in Biafra liberation. So all what I'm doing is that to pray for Biafra. It's through, I'm three, uh, still building myself towards that. But all I'm praying is that let what we are applying for Biafra, let it come to existence. And that uh, as they visit in, uh, from uh, November to December, let the liberation of Biafra come to existence in the mighty name of Jesus. So I, uh, for me now, I'm still established. I'm still establishing myself. I don't have no silver or gold to support. But all I will be doing is that I will be praying for Biafra to come to an instance in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. There you There you Thank you. Please uh, uh, mute yourself, please, while you're going. And uh, please uh, unmute yourself. Is there? Those that have questions for the PM, please don't hesitate to raise your hands from here and ask your questions. All right, wonderful people, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as you do. In case you have not joined our social media handle, what are you waiting for? Kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first. We'll collect them. Let's go down to the news proper as you do. Uh, as it be, the Hones and Debo has decided to establish Hones and Debo office across the world. And I wonder when they talk this one. <laughs> uh, when I hear them, I can't remember as it be. Say this thing, he can't talk to my mom and say, uh, Waiting Hones and Debo, they copy now. Waiting, uh, Mazi Simon Eba will be the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile. Don't start already. <laughs> Uh, remember that Eba one Joko Hamadike two of Ndibo Anona Webo na Ungare. That's why uh, the reason why I called him Hamadike two of Ndibo is that uh, Mazin and the Kano uh, is still there, and um the banks na 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 this year ka our both yo and na what are the news and what are the bala. So there is no way you cannot address uh, Mazin Eba. Uh, before Kano, we know that the respect is still there uh, until we still descend. Meanwhile, let's go down to the full detail of the information for waiting or an SND what they try to do uh, for all over the world. Um, waiting or an SND what they do now uh, and are waiting they suppose don't do things uh, because if you go to first stack other places, you will see SND but this, SND but that. But another question is, is there a, a connection between all these SND boards where they discuss, you know, what concerns our people? Because those people, SND board in Lagos, SND board in London, SND board in California is more or so diaspora, as uh, of diaspora. Uh, there are also SS uh, who we are uh, maybe through a generational appointment or monarchical rule, uh, we are in this in the position. And Igbo land in Biafra land itself is there a forum where all these people communicate? Meanwhile, make we see waiting uh, Mazi Iwayangu the talk. Iwayangu say, uh, says Igbo has the largest diaspora population from George Onyemeru in Owere. The President General of Honors and Igbo Worldwide and Elder Statesman Dr. Emmanuel Iwayangu has said. That the organization has decided to establish on his Ndibo office across the world as Ndibo has the largest people in the diaspora. He said 
this is to unify Ndibo, whatever they are, for the development of Ali Ibo. This is even as he made Ibo Journalists Association as an affiliate of the Honest Ndibo, saying that the Ibo Journalists Associ Association are needed for the propagation of the activities of the Honest Ndibo worldwide. Ibos have the largest people in the diaspora anywhere in the world. When I visited the United States, some Igbos who came from the Fiji island came to see me and I asked them what they are doing there. They said they liked the place and requested that they want me to come to Fiji island to establish a Hanazan Dibo office. Continuing, now, as a result, decided to establish the offices of Ndibo across the world. In Europe, our headquarters is London. In North America and Canada, the headquarters is Washington. In South America and Caribbean, the headquarters is Brazil. In Asia, it's China. In the Pacific headquarters, it's Australia. And in Africa, it is South Africa. The general headquarters of Honest and Dibu worldwide is Enugu. We thank the governor of Enugu State for giving us a land near the iconic Opera Square. For the building of a new headquarters, we have made a lot of progress. He added, once we unify the Igbos in the diaspora, no race can beat us. My desire is the development of Igbo land and they are ready to work with us. Now, I am happy that you have come together and you people are going to the part of the activities of Hanes and Igbo worldwide. Without the media, we cannot achieve much. I announce today that you are now an affiliate of Hanes and Igbo worldwide and we will invite you to the meetings and we will ask you Dominate your members to serve in some of the committees. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I say um, uh, that's move they good uh, because the vice no, the makwanu kete the ma, agwanu mere kete the ma. Ona isendi bo meta chara da one. But meanwhile, uh, this is what they should have done. But uh, Masi Eba has taken the lead, and I believe that everybody is following that man. Eba na the vice na nyukata ma amele ono oba ofofo. As it be, uh, if Ndibo uh, we come together, I believe that things will go well. As it be, uh, EFCC don't arrest one pastor for 3.9 million naira scan. <laughs> uh, make a carry go for the full detail of that information. Uh, if you they go church, uh, make you know what you they do, uh, make pastor no carry you feeling on pocket. Meanwhile, make I bring you the full detail of the information before. Uh, we're going to know what's in the happen. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has arrested an Illorin based clergyman, Professor Adeni James, for allegedly defrauding a member of his church to the tune of 3.9 million. A statement by the commission, Commission's Head of Media and Publicity, Dele Oyewole, on Saturday said the Illorin Zona Command arrested James on April 2, 2024, for the alleged offense. It was gathered that James is the General Overseer of Christ Apostolic Church, CAC, Freedom City Prophetic and Deliverance Ministry in Lorraine. Oyewole noted that the victim, Oluwole Babarinsa, in a petition to the Commission, alleged that James called him out during a church program sometime in 2021, declaring that he had a diversion that he, Babarinsa, would travel abroad. The petition has said the cleric in the course of giving the revelation asked him about his preferred country, which he replied Canada, and they agreed to talk later in order to perfect arrangement for the trip. The petition has said James later told him that he had a friend in Lagos who could help him facilitate his relocation to Canada, but at a cost of 1.7 million and 2.5 million for processing of flight tickets and travel documents, respectively. Babarinsa added that he had to sell some of his properties and took some loans before he could raise 3980000 which he gave to the prophet to facilitate his quick relocation to Canada. After prolonged waiting with no result, the petitioner became agitated and began to query the prophet's vision, prompting him to ask for a refund of his money. All effort and entreats to the sub suspect to refund his money yielded no positive results, EFCC spokesman said. The suspect will be arranged in court 
after the conclusion of the investigation, Oyewole added. <laughs> Uh, my people, when I don't see, I see they happen. Uh, that one, they happen for uh, now Yoruba people. Uh, but uh, if you watch for the matters where we say it is sub for Christianity for Nigeria, you go find out say uh, Yoruba people maybe be say na pastoring or maybe na this church thing or priesthood. Let me just use the word priesthood and uh, na their destiny uh, because. There is what I a uh, documentary from Oba of the Oba of Lagos. I will still bring it uh, again, saying that uh, Ndibo did not come out from the Jews, but rather the Jews came out from Ndibo. He also emphasized that them, the Yorubas, also came out from Ndibo. But Ndibo are the beginning of uh, th that existence. But the Yorubas are the custodians, they are the keepers of tradition. And if you watch, uh, look at the Yorubas, uh, you find that they are more like custodians and keepers of tradition, and their destiny is more also of priests. And I don't think that Ndibo, uh, if you watch a lot of priests, a lot of pastors that have you know, emerged from Nigeria, you will find that a percentage, higher percentage of big men of God we know are from the Yorubas. Ndibo are known for their enterprise, commerce, and the rest of them. And I don't think that these two people should drag this. But the one where we say the verse me now, and I wait in I read out carry come for you, where Pastor Godup member. And where one carry mouth put be say, uh, you prophesy to member say uh, God say in go travel abroad. As you prophesy and say God say in go travel abroad. Now you be God, we go still facilitate the ticket. Uh, you don't give the prophecy, you say you don't give. make you live and make God using him perfect arm. <laughs> Bad condition. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the issue of Nigeria is that um, everybody is trying to survive the pastor, the Emano, and the rest of them. Uh, make a carry you go for another story as in the heart uh, for Okoma Massacre. A John elders demand justice for slain officers, safety of innocent residents. <laughs> Uh, waiting to happen for Okwama na ide like something will be like Odudu Berenamu. Ema Euroni bo. Ega ma when they say no Odudu Berenamu. You already know as it be. Meanwhile as it be, the Lagos branch of the Joint Elders Forum (IEF) on Saturday expressed concerns over recent development following the killing of 17 military personnel at Okwama in Delta and the ongoing military crackdown in search of the masterminds. The forum said this, this in a statement signed by Chief Bukazi Etete and Mr. Efie Biribena, Chairman and Secretary respectively, and made available to newsmen in Yenogoa. It condemned the attack on military personnel, saying it was unacceptable and demanded the isolation and apprehension of the culprit to face the law. We condemn in very strong terms the killing of military personnel in the Okoma community and call on the authorities to thoroughly investigate and bring the perpetrators of this deadly act to justice. This should be done with respect to relevant laws, swiftly and equitable, the forum said. IEF, however, said it had observed with dismay the alleged invasion and wanton destruction of lives and properties in Okoma. Delta State and Iwoturu by Elsa by the military. We therefore call on the authorities to thoroughly investigate the matter and bring to justice all those responsible for the killings and destruction of properties in both communities. The military has a constitutional role in protecting citizens and so must respect the rules of engagement when dealing with civilians, the body says. The elders charged the military authorities to thoroughly investigate the immediate and remote causes of the death of the military personnel at Okoma and other communities, including collateral damages that followed the unfortunate incidents. Uh, when I don't see a CDB, my people, things see they happen for Okoma. Uh, one Okoma boy don't do video. I think I don't bring that video to you. Can they explain? Uh, waiting happened there. I seen talk for the video in call the name of the people, big big people join inside that video. Say and uh, the people of Ukoloma uh, they use uh, police, they oppress or uh, the army because say they get money, they are people there for government, uh, they oppress the people of Okoma. And the boy they talk say the matter where we say they happen for Okoma and Okoloma. <laughs> say some people say that uh, 
na land business or that say na oil na in the cost um, there are too many uh, speculations and indications uh, concerning that particular event uh, but we believe that through investigation uh, everything behind that act will still unfold as it be how many people don't go there buy plenty plenty uh, destroy plenty plenty house because the uh, the people where they buy their member uh, but the matter we say uh, I'm should remember that some of these properties are owned by people and these people are civilians. I think that according to what this Okoma group, this IEF said, uh, what should be done is that army should go into investigation or give the matter to police, let them carry out a proper investigation and bring to open whatever there is to transparency. Let there be a transparent uh, 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 investigation. Let the people of Okoma know what is happening and let the army know the people that buyed their member. Meanwhile, this is where I'll be winding down the curtain. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, you kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to all your notification button so that whenever our news drop, it will be the first we'll collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you.